really the starting point this season was just really kind of um, I wanted to do something sexy and um, you know and have it be really immediate and I wanted the girl to just see the outfit want it wear it and you know no high concept and uh, that was kind of the first step and then you know we kind of each step leads to another and then you know we wanted to play with the logo and then you know all the ingredients get thrown in the pot and then we kind of spin it around and see what comes out. It started with this idea of duality and kind of, um, you know, this kind of in the air, there's this feeling of restraint and kind of formality and, and being very understated. And I wanted to have fun with fashion and be it flirtatious. I grew up in the 90s when everything was logo mania and flashy and things like that, but taking that energy and trying to funnel it through this idea of what I felt were kind of like the necessary wardrobe items of today, you know, and playing with the duality and this idea of censorship, you know, this idea of how the rooms were split apart and one side was censored and the other side was the original track. And, you know, you saw a lot of the logo and then this idea of parental advisory, explicit content, and, you know, just having it be witty and humorous. And, um, yeah, that was really kind of the process for us this season. Oh, I thought it was an amazing show. I mean, I particularly liked the beginning with the crop tops, and it just was such a springy moment with the shorts and a little bit of flesh. And we've been seeing this trend of kind of shirting being used in different ways, and I thought the way that he did it was so amazing, using that kind of menzy shirting to make really sexy silhouettes. It was really fresh. Talent, talent, talent. He's always subversive, and I love that. It kind of shocks you a little bit. It's nothing you've ever quite seen before, and how refreshing is that? Dipping into the men's world, the women's world, you had a lot of men's uh, fabrics, like men's shirting fabrics, lightweight men's, well, men's wool fabrics. He would emboss it, or he would encase it in a type of a plastic, or he would crop it really unusually. So the silhouettes are all changed up. And you know, it's always, it's amazing. This is actually a contemporary line, but there is, he's got, he's got complete designer level um, in design integrity built into the clothes. Um, and a lot of innovation in the fabrics also. I mean, this, this is real true designer work. It's always so exciting. Uh, you know, it's always a huge production. Um, you never know what uh, what he's gonna hit you with. Uh, last year, you know, he shut out shut out the lights, and all of a sudden, all the models were glowing. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, what he's gonna try to top it with this year. Alexander's entire aesthetic. Um, I love how creative he is and you never know exactly what to expect and he always seems to surprise you every single time while still remaining very consistent with who he is. I just love him. I think he's amazing. Kind of the most exciting show in New York now in the last season or two. Uh, I think what is great about him is he's actually created a slightly new category of fashion, this uh, casual athletic thing, which no one had really done before. Um, he got it organically by observing people walking around New York and the girls he liked and admired, or guys. So I think he's a genuine original. We really 
wanted to bring the audience close to um, the girl this season, you know, because on first glance in a picture you might not notice, but a lot of the fabrics were all welded and, you know, using a lot of kind of technical treatments of, you know, what usually a windbreaker or kind of a raincoat might be made out of, but using it on like a poplin shirt or, you know, a blazer. We've been seeing perforation already so far this season, but the perforated leather trench was amazing. I thought the skirts with Alexander Wang along the middle were incredible. It was a really beautiful show. I think he's always been very progressive, you know, and just cutting edge. And I think that's what any artist, um, you know, is inspired by. New and inspiring ideas, and I think he's just one of those artists who just always has made it a point to incorporate those new and refreshing ideas in his design. Yeah. He's, he's just the, he's so young and he's got such a such an incredible long future and I'm glad we're here to ride that ride his long wave with him but it was really really a fantastic show. What's there not to enjoy right now? I'm having the best time of my life. I am so grateful, and it's been an incredible journey, and um, time passes so fast, and you know, you have to kind of live life, and, uh, and especially, you know, I feel very, very privileged and lucky.